Cher Fayol Maguil Construction a été créée en 2017 grâce à un don de la compagnie Fayol Canada, un don qui a été donné à l'école d'architecture et à la faculté de l'aménagement de l'Université de Montréal. La chaire inclut une équipe de travail d'environ six chercheurs et praticiens ayant différents profils et provenant de diverses disciplines. Today, uh, common practice in architecture in Canada uh, often uh, suffers from not having enough innovation, not taking enough risks, not looking at the future. The chair gives us an opportunity to really study innovation. Studying innovation in architecture and construction will give us an opportunity to really bridge the gap between regular construction and a profound sensitivity to sustainability. Sustainability really is the overlapping of architecture with all the other sciences and humankind. And it's through those activities that we're going to learn how to act and design and build and monitor much more carefully in the future. L'objectif de notre travail est vraiment de développer des nouvelles connaissances, des connaissances qui peuvent être utilisées par les praticiens pour améliorer leurs pratiques, pour développer de nouvelles façons de faire et pour développer l'innovation dans le secteur de l'architecture, du bâtiment, de la construction en général au Canada et ailleurs. Today, uh, the chair is helping us really bridge the gap between areas of research. So yes, we have engineering, we have sociology, urban design, uh, public space, uh, social cohesion. All these areas uh, are wonderful on their own, but architecture is a form of facilitation. It kind of starts to see the opportunities that go way beyond the simple domain of architecture and construction. It's in these gaps where we will find the magic and the innovation. Pensons que notre approche est originale parce que la chair se concentre sur les interfaces, les interfaces par exemple entre les éléments constructifs, on peut penser à la relation entre la structure et la ventilation par exemple, on s'intéresse aussi aux interfaces entre le monde de la recherche et le monde de la pratique et aux interfaces par exemple entre les sous-systèmes euh, du, du bâtiment ou des processus de réalisation des projets. I think the chair can have a profound influence in the construction sector by carrying out uh, research on many levels. One of them is what's called pure research, where we're looking at some of the most innovative thinking around the world in specific areas. Let's say we're talking about wood and tall building construction, or we can be looking at uh, innovative modes of construction. That is one technique. Another one is actually to try it out in our studios, in our research, in our symposium. Uh, these are opportunities to test out ideas, learn from industry, and then share with industry. So it's really creating a dialogue between the two. In the end, uh, research through multidisciplinary or even transdisciplinary teams is fundamental to high quality design, innovation, and risk management. And many times people have been researching in their own specific siloed area of expertise without understanding the other components connected. So this is really taking research out of the classroom or just university and not just looking at best practice but actually sewing the two together. Mm -hmm.